Hello, basketball fans. Great matchup for you tonight between the Michigan Wolverines and the Illinois Fighting Illini. Number three is a key component to this basketball franchise. He brings them a lot with his abilities, and he'll be looking to showcase those in today's game. It's hard to stop this young man at offense. When he gets going, Brad, he's got the Jays, got offensive penetration, you name it. This kid's got it, baby. The Fighting Illini will certainly want to take advantage of his presence on the floor. Michigan takes the tip and starts up the floor. He'll regroup the offense. The Fighting Illini might be looking at the fight of the season tonight, Dick. Any particular keys to victory for him? For them to win tonight, the keys are as follows. Number one, set good interior screens to free up your big men on a block. Look to the inside first. Next, get busy battling for the boards. Winning teams always rebound well. Thirdly, play every defensive possession like it's the last. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action, see what's in store for us. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. The fighting Illini have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. And back they come the other way. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Look at that. That's unbelievable, baby. The hall is going ballistic. This might be Corbindale, Illinois, at its finest, baby. He launches a three. He makes the shot. Takes the pass in the paint. Number 55 is feeling great out there right now. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. Working it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He keeps the dribble as they reset. With a jump hook. Can't get the shot to drop. They work the perimeter. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Trying to pack it inside. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. On the outside, the center receives the pass. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. That's a 7-0 run. Dump it inside. Number three handles the feed. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Call this a one-man show, Brad. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. In the paint. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Turnaround jumper. He seems absolutely adverse to taking any good shots right now. And with that, his teammates may be getting a little bit frustrated. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR. Hey, where's Mr. Petty? The ball goes out of play. Number 55 receives the ball. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He up fakes. Does a double and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Ten seconds to get a shot off. Look at that 
that's basic. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? He gets the bucket to fall. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. You can't forget about them, the witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Number 34 is pounded on his way up. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. First shot, good. Hits two at the charity strike. Power forward handles the pass. He shoots from long range. Way off target. Both teams looking to get things going here. Inside. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He's a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job, I tell you. He makes the block. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. Great shot. Right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Fed the low block. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Looking for contact. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Inside. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Tries for two, perfectly executed. Tries to get the D to bite. Goes up for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Gave it up. Number one steals the ball. They work it around the perimeter. Number 15 draws the personal. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. At the free throw line. He hits the first shot. is the second. For 
two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Jumps into the defender. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, despite his performance, he has been unable to get his teammates all on the same page. There's a lot of confusion and lack of focus down here right by the bench. He continues to stress to them, relax, play your game. He can't do this alone, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They're working around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The land. For the bucket, doesn't go. Tries for two, can't get the shot to drop. Robs him of the ball. Great recovery after the rebound. That's how you stop the fast break. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. Up and inside. The Big Ten Conference usually has some really competitive teams, Dick. Hey, definitely there's a lot of banging when a Big Ten school is playing. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Moving it around the perimeter. The shot from the baseline. It sticks. Up fake. Goes up for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Pressure that basketball. Looking for a good shot. He throws it up from downtown. Off the rim and no good. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. He looks for three. Drains the shot. Let's go to the instant replay camera. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Entry pass in the paint. Contact causes the shot to come off. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, if you have a great post play, you got a chance really to win. Unloads a three. It's good. the pick there's the roll jumps in number 15 makes the finger roll gave it up he tries to knock down the three way off target
And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Off the rim and no good. Easy one. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Length of the floor for two. Gets it to go. There they come with a double team to stop it. Stolen away. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific. Team. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Michigan are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Side. Trying to draw some contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Up. Easy one. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Gets it back out. Working it around the perimeter. There's the fake. The skip pass is picked off. On the dribble, gives it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Can't get the shot to go. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, you're kidding me. That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. What's even more important, they'll have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Way off target. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Trying to draw the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He tries the three. Off the rim and no good. That's spacing. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Number 22 picks up the foul. First team foul. Check that out. He's pumping up the crowd. He wants him to turn it up a notch. He's saying, get up, people. Get up. So 
though. He'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. It's his second. on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. For the bucket. Unbelievable, look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Gave it up. Number 42 with the fake. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. On the outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts it up, looking for contact. Goes in. Picks off the pass. Looking to move it around the perimeter. On the inside. Number 15. Makes a great move to draw the foul. He steps up to the line. First one is good. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Number 42 looks to be down emotional. He needs to take a deep breath, refocus, and get after it. Picks off the lazy pass. There's a slam. In the paint. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Fakes a jumper. He makes a nice shot fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. Step out on that screener. They work the perimeter. Two for one opportunity. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. Great screen set up, but the shot won't go. Shoots from outside. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Here's a double team. Number 22 is charged with the foul. Second personal foul. At the line. He hits it. throws go the ball goes out of play and that's one too many turnovers yeah those turnovers are really a nightmare especially when they lead to layups he takes the shot from the baseline oh yes and halftime the fighting Illini are trailing by 22 well, let's take a look back and watch the play of the half
Illinois is practically handing the ball over to the opposing team like it's a Christmas present or something right now, Dick. Hey, any team would gladly receive this kind of nice gesture. I bet they're not getting anything but a mouthful of criticism from their coaching staff. Our focus player update, Dick Vitales, going into the second half. What does he need to do, you think? I think we ought to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. Goes up for two and off the mark. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Way off target. Look at that spacing. Gave it up. The crowd really admires this young man. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. You're going to be seeing this one all week. Looking for the foul. Perfectly executed. He fires from long range. He gets that one to fall. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Looking for a good shot. He puts up the three ball. Off the rim and no good. They work it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. For two. Way off target. Intercepted. Puts it on the floor and up and under. In and out. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. Great play to take that to the basket. Number one is whistled for the foul. First personal foul. Side. Pump fakes. The ball goes out of bounds. Here's a flash from the high post. Fakes the shot. to the circle. They're trying to build an entire neighborhood with all those bricks, Brad. They need some buckets, and they need them in a hurry. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Ball handler's in trouble. 
They're really losing confidence with their poor shooting at the time, Dick. Hey, nothing that a couple of fast break dunks couldn't cure. Tries for two, and in and out. On the outside. Looks at a three. Another brick, baby. Building a new arena. On the dribble, gives it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. With the freebie. He gets it to go. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. He takes the three. Off the rim and no good. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Drains it. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk, lift their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Gave it up. In the paint. He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big play. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. He'll get one. Good. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. The center with the ball. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft is down there, fading away, passing the block. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He goes with a baby hook. They still don't score. He nails the shot. The Wolverines are up by 27. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Working it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He unloads a three. Way off target. They work it around the perimeter. Picked off. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. 
He silenced the crowd with that shot. That's a big time shot. Big time. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. That's an eight zip run. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. What's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a point. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And got it from three. ready to start again. Takes away the pass. Now they work it around the perimeter with a deep shot from outside. Off the rim and no good. On the inside. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Nice shot. Jumped in front to take it away. Gave it up. Full court pass. For two, can't get the shot to drop. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. On the dribble, gives it up. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul, Dick. He's out of control, baby, out of control. In the paint. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Up and inside. The fighting Illini prefer to play a certain type of basketball, don't they? They're bullies. They're big bullies out there. Being physical is the name of their game. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. And he missed. Nice move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots from outside. He's not letting the game come to him at all. Yeah, Brad, he's trying too hard to build a one-man show. He's taking the game away from his other teammates. Come on, man, get with the team. Get in the flow. <laughs> On the outside. Controlling the ball. Sinks it. Number 
There's a double team waiting there. He shoots from the top of the circle. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. For the bucket, perfectly executed. The Wolverines are up by 39. There's the trap. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Number, and they're going to count it. Determination, baby. Look at this, Mr. Nestler. He has a little something for the opposition. That, to me, is a no-no. Good teams will get to the line often. But getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Tries for two. In and out. He got the bucket to go, and he'll have the chance to add one more. He saw the foul coming, Brad, but he got it up anyway. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. Lobs it. Time to pick up the defense here now. Got the high pick. He takes the shot off the baseline. Way off target. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to count the bucket and the foul. He made a statement in that play, baby. I ain't backing down. This is crime. Just play, son. Just play. Let your game do the taunting. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Pass down low. There's a drop step and oh, good defense. I got defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Gave it up. Got to take some pride on a defensive end. From way outside. Buried it. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Number 11 is pounded on his way up. At the free throw line. Opportunity. Concentrate. Got to concentrate on that free throw line. a second 
Michigan are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Working it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. Good job defensively. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. It might be safe just to start that bus up. I think this one's over. Yeah, now it's about damage control. Good time to get some of the bench players into the game to avoid injury. He launches the bomb. Off the rim and no good. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Looking for contact. Number one with a finger roll. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Jumps into the defender. And he missed. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. He goes with a baby hook. Can't get the shot to go. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Moving it around the perimeter. He intercepts it. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Perfectly executed. Here's a double team. My goodness. Players these days and their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Dickie's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They'll work it around the arc. He puts up the tray. Way off target. Now the high screen. Jumps in. Number one makes the finger roll. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. That one, there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. Now they work it around the perimeter on the outside. He dials long distance. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. 
leans in. Finger roll. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Illinois loses this game in a mocking fashion. This is a surprise since the two teams